foldable iPad. While foldable smartphones aren't new, many OEMs have yet to release their own versions of this new breed of device. Apple is one of these, but according to a new leak, the company is planning to release a foldable iPad in 2023, along with a few other specifications. Hello guys, and welcome back to Tech World. Today we'll talk about the revolutionary foldable iPad rumors in the tech world. Don't leave until you've heard everything we have to say. Now let's dive right in. Rumors Since we shared with you the rumors about the foldable iPhone, here you go with the speculated foldable iPad rumors circulating in the market. According to Display Supply Chain Consultants advisor Ross Young, Apple is working on foldable displays up to 20 inches in size for a foldable notebook. But this could also refer to a foldable iPad device. According to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman, Apple is working on large screen iPads, so combining the two rumors, we can see a future foldable iPad with a large display. Other foldable iPad rumors have surfaced, with analyst Jeff Lynn speculating in 2019 that Apple would release a foldable iPad as early as 2020. Of course, that simply didn't happen. But it appears that foldable technology is on the ground. According to a recent rumor, Apple is collaborating with LG Display on foldable OLED display panels for prospective iPads and MacBooks. Display I think when designing a foldable device, may it be a phone or a tablet, you should really be careful with the display. I mean, who wants a foldable smartphone or a tablet that cracks when folded? So there's news that Apple is rumored to be working with LG Display on a technology that will use an ultra-thin cover glass rather than polyamide, which is currently used in foldable displays. According to Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, Apple is testing electronic paper display technology, EPD, which could be used in future foldable devices. Color EPD displays from Chinese company E-Ink could be used by Apple because they are much more energy efficient than other types of display technology. Screen Size Since we have some kind of closure on the display technology, the next thing we're interested in is the screen size. Do you guys have any guesses for us? Leave us a comment down below on your guesses. Let me say a few words about the most common enthusiast's guesses. The product would apparently have MacBook sized screens, which is a far given that iPad Pro already has a 12.9 inch screen. However, it's easy to see how an iPad mini sized product that could unfold to a 13 or 15 inch screen would be appealing. Resolution. Well, for now, we know about the display and the screen size. What don't we also get to know about its screen resolution? If Apple releases a foldable iPad, that would allow for the display that's roughly twice the size of current iPad models and would make it possible for a new iPad to support a resolution up to 4K or even higher. Of course, it's too early to talk about the exact details, but it stands to reason that if Apple decides to go down that path, the company would try to make the best out of the new design. So a 4K resolution would certainly make sense, won't it? 5G network? I'm sure you guys know that, so far none of the Apple products operate with 5G technology, right? I think it first became famous in China, because I know even they started to advertise on 5G data cards and all. So, the biggest rumor we want to know about the foldable iPad is will it have 5G? According to a press report, Apple is currently working on a 5G enabled iPad, with a foldable display that could be released in 2023. The rumor comes from London-based global information provider IHS Markeats analyst Jeff Lynn, who claimed on Friday that Apple was quietly working on such a device. According to the analyst, the foldable iPad would also support 5G cellular radios for fast mobile internet browsing. Inside Specs We found out that, other than the previously mentioned information, there are rumors about the other perspective specs of the foldable iPad. Are you guys ready to know more? The specs of the foldable iPad device were also revealed by an insider. In terms of specifications, the tipster revealed that the foldable iPad device will have a micro LED display. That could be true given that Apple has been working on a new display for some time. Aside from that, 
Komiya revealed that the device will include an under-display front camera and a Touch ID that will serve as the primary biometric security. Unlike some foldable devices, the iPad will not have hinges according to the tip. Instead, it will include two panels that are seamlessly connected to each other. According to this insider, the iPad's processor will be a 3 nanometer A series chip, which would be an A16X or an A17. The use of a 3 nanometer chip means that the foldable device will be more efficient by 2023. Furthermore, Komiya stated that the device will provide the best experience for users of Apple Glass or VR headsets. Given the iPad's release date and the specifications revealed to you so far, we can conclude that it's too soon to confirm the accuracy of the information. But am I the only one whose mind got blown away after hearing all these rumors? And do let us know if there are any specs you expect to have on a foldable iPad. A stylus? I'm sure most of you guys would rather use your hands than a stylus, but when talking about artists and maybe business professionals, they would be interested in a foldable iPad with a stylus. According to recent reports, Apple's folding iPad could include stylus support, though it's unclear if this would be the existing Apple Pencil or maybe something new. The new iPad could have a diagonal display of 13 or 15 inches with a tall aspect ratio. An iPhone or an iPad? So you guys know about the foldable iPhone, right? If not, please watch our video in the description is down below. Let me tell you briefly that if a foldable iPhone comes, the users speculate that it would be the same as an iPad. Let's see what it's all about, shall we? With such significant price differences, some speculate that Apple may replace the foldable iPad with a folding iPhone. There is a chance that Apple will discontinue the iPads for another reason in a few years. While the large iPad will have the same reach as the current 5th generation iPad mini. Release date now that you know most of the credible rumors circulating about a mind-blowing foldable iPad, let's also talk about when it will be released. Even if Apple is truly currently working on implementing foldable display technology into its iPad or even its MacBook, it will be at least 4 or 5 years before such devices are ready to be released. At the moment, foldable technology is gimmicky at best, and a lot of work needs to be put into it for it to become more widely used. Given how much care Apple puts into making all of its products the best they can be, it makes sense for the company to take its time developing a foldable iPad or MacBook before deciding the device is ready for commercial use. Issues with iPad OS Well, there should be a reason other than the tech development in making a foldable iPad, shouldn't there be? This is all about it. When talking about the iPad, Apple has really never been able to make the iPad OS stand out. When Apple separated iPadOS and iOS into two operating systems, we expected the iPadOS to one day become as powerful as macOS and receive its own operating system. Four years later, we're still waiting to see what Apple can do with the iPadOS. Yes, the company has added a few features like support for mice, universal control, sidecar, and a bunch of others here and there. But the iPad OS, or rather the iPad, still doesn't come close to the Mac when using it solely as your computing device for work. So we could guess this will be a more elaborate issue when dealing with a foldable version. For Apple, if its foldable is a device between the iPad and the Mac, it should offer the functionality of both devices. Similarly, if its foldable is a device that sits between an iPad and an iPhone, it should have the functionality of both. But it seems that Apple is still in the middle of finding out what its foldable devices will offer, and until they are 100% sure about it, they probably won't release one. This is why I believe the company is late to the game, and we're still months if not years away from seeing the first Apple foldable. That's all for today's video everyone, thank you for sticking with me until the end and I hope you liked it. What do you think about all these rumors and speculations about a foldable iPad? Let me know in the comments and please feel at ease in leaving any of your thoughts, suggestions, or remarks in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and show us some love. Have a good day and until next time, adios amigos.